Ralph Tench, Professor and Director of Research for Leeds Business School at uh, Leeds Beckett University in the UK, and the past President of uh, the European Public Relations Education and Research Association, Prera. Uh, UPRERA uh, is a non-profit association founded in 1959 with a long record supporting education research uh, for the public relations discipline across Europe. Its mission is to enhance and promote innovation in knowledge and practice through research and education in public relations and strategic communication. The ethical perspective uh, of the profession of public relations and communication management has been historically linked to its academic foundations from the beginning of the, of the last century. For much of the, that century, public relations has been conceptualised, particularly in the US, as a professional practice based on the principle of mutual benefit for organisations and their publics. From a European perspective, public relations has evolved through the roots of social theory uh, and UPERA, UPERA, as an academic association, has promoted innovation and knowledge transfer to the professional field, particularly about the sustainability and the impact of the practice in economic and social and environmental dimensions. More recently, uh, UPRERA academic community has provided some of the most relevant insights from the field in Europe and contributed comprehensive data about the profession around the world. For example, in 2000, uh, UPRERA started the EBOC, or the European Body of Knowledge project, that outlined the differential features of communication management in Europe. Specific European professional roles were conceptualised as the reflective role regarding the function of communication to make organisations responsive to society, or the educational role, meaning that communication as a commitment to enable executives and other members of the organisation to communicate more effectively. Later in 2007, UPRERA sponsored what is now the largest and longest running empirical study of the field of public relations and communication, the European Communication Monitor. Now we're in our 14th year of that project, uh, along with the regional studies in North America, Latin America and, and the Asia Pacific. It's a worldwide study and the leading transnational study about the profession of public relations and strategic communication uh, worldwide. Other UPRERA projects in the last few years were Mind the Gap, the ECOS project, Women in Public Relations and two European Union funded projects. The uh, European Communication Practitioner Skills and Innovation Project, ECOPSI, the first to be awarded to a communications discipline in the EU, and MARPI, which is currently focused on uh, public diplomacy education. As a promoter of advanced research, UPERA aims to enhance both the academic and the professional fields, and the integration of ethical perspectives is a main topic in all of uh, UPERA's uh, studies, congresses and publications. For example, in 2014, our Brussels Congress had the specific focus on communication ethics. We also talked about legitimacy when we were in Denmark together and cultural identities in Barcelona. And in 2015, UPERA sponsored and published uh, one of the, uh, the books in our series titled Communication Ethics in a Connected World. More recently, built out of another UPERA project, uh, the Communications Excellence, How to Develop, Manage and Lead Exceptional Communications book, was published by Palgrave Macmillan, and that uh, evaluated personal, organisational and professional ethics as essential, an essential driver for high-performing communication departments and organisations. Also, our research in Latin America points to ethical principles along with education as the main drivers for professionalism and communication management in that region. And in more detail, results from UPRERA's uh, European Communication Monitor on a number of years and cycles of the study have shown also some interesting insights. Uh, for example, six out of 10 European communication professionals have reported having ethical challenges in their daily work. Also, communication professionals working in agencies and consultancies are the more likely to experience ethical dilemmas. For European practitioners, ethical issues are much more relevant today and are driven by issues such as internationalisation strategies for organisations, compliance rules and social media practices. Despite this, I think one of our most interesting findings from the study has been that only a minority of 29% of practitioners use codes to solve ethical problems. So why don't professionals recognise ethical challenges and why don't they use codes? 37% state typical codes of ethics are outdated, yet 93% of them believe that there is a need for them and they expect national and international professional associations to provide them. 
So all our findings point to the need to strengthen the ethical competence of practitioners, along with an urgent need of updating codes. These findings are being updated and expanded right now through the 2020 edition of the European Communication Monitor. The survey is going live in February and closes in March, early March. So please do, if you haven't, engage in that survey at communicationmonitor.eu. Uh, um, and it will be further expanded this year in the, the continents we've described to the global communication monitor in North America, Latin America and the Asia Pacific regions. So research is fundamental to understanding not only what is going on in the profession, but also to challenge from, critical, from a critical perspective what shouldn't be done and to highlight when we have unethical practices. The expertise and knowledge of members uh, exploring applied research in ethics is what UPERA contributes uh, to the Global Alliance's excellent initiative, which we, uh, which we will be supporting and will support the profession all over the world.